An Anderson County man is accused of letting his dog starve to death. Coming up, we'll explain why he is not facing any felony charges. With this legislative session ending at midnight on Friday, there's still no agreement on the state's budget. Another beautiful day in store. It's finally getting a little bit warmer, too, and average temperatures later on this afternoon, and then we skyrocket with those temperatures the next several days. I'll show you that in your weekend forecast coming up. This is WKYT News at Noon. And good afternoon from WKYT News. I'm Barbara Bailey. And I'm Bill Bryant. Here's what's happening at noon. A central Kentucky man is facing charges right now, accused of tying his dog up in the backyard with no food until it starved to death. 39 year old Howard Tennell is charged with animal cruelty. Police say the miniature pincer had been tied up for approximately two weeks and was dead when officers responded to a complaint at the home on Rippey Street in Lawrenceburg. WKYT's Mark Barber is in Anderson County now with the latest on the case. It's our top story at noon. The Lawrenceburg police chief says when officers found the dog behind a home here on Rippey Street, the dog appeared to have been dead for a few days. Officers say the dog's owner let the dog starve to death because it was going to the bathroom in his house. The police chief says the old miniature pincher was chained in a backyard without food or water or shelter. After someone called for help, an officer showed up at the home on Sunday, but it was too late. The dog was dead. A source close to the case who does not want to be named says Howard Tennell, the owner of the dog, chained it outside two weeks ago. The source tells WKYT that Hennell kicked the dog and left it outside in the rain and in the cold. When officers found the dog, the witness says its legs were broken. According to court documents, Tennell told police he was responsible and he knew it was not the right way to treat an animal. The 39-year-old was not jailed because he was charged with second-degree animal cruelty. The police chief says that's a misdemeanor offense and you have to be accused of allowing your dog to fight in order to be charged with felony animal cruelty. Billy Woods thinks the law does not match the alleged crime. That's sad because if we starved a child to death, we would go to jail. I mean, there's not any difference. They can't speak, neither can kids, so I think you should serve time for it. The Anderson County Judge Executive says Tennell promised to bury his dog, but when officers came back to his house, the dog was still in the yard. The animal has since been sent on to UK Hospital for testing. Investigators hope to learn how that dog died soon. In Lawrenceburg, Mark Barber, WKYT. Now, Tennell is scheduled to appear in court Tuesday. Two months ago, he was arrested in the parking lot of the sheriff's office. He was reportedly pepper sprayed because he appeared to be drunk and was swearing at deputies. We're also tracking another disturbing animal cruelty case in Lincoln County. 23-year-old Jasper Jesse was arrested yesterday after they say he admitted stomping his girlfriend's dog to death. Police say Jesse tried to hide the crime and make it appear the dog died by eating rat poison. A police citation says the dog's injuries were confirmed and they, by a necropsy performed at the UK veterinary lab. Jesse is charged with animal cruelty and tampering with phys physical evidence. A third suspect charged in connection to a deadly shooting in Lexington will face a judge in less than an hour. 19 year old Alex Farrell will be arraigned at 1 o'clock. Farrell, Jaden Whalen, and Nicholas Karachi who are all UK freshmen, are charged with robbery. Police say the three men and James Gordon planned to rob a man during a drug deal early Saturday morning on Woodland Avenue. When one of them pulled out a weapon, the man that they were meeting with shot Karachi and Gordon, and Gordon later died. Police say the shooter is cooperating with their investigation and has not been charged. Kentucky lawmakers are back at the state capitol this afternoon trying to hammer out a last-minute budget deal. Friday is the last day of the legislative session, and if the House and Senate cannot come to an agreement by then, Governor Matt Bevan now says he will not call a special session. That puts out the perspective of a potential government shutdown. WKYT's Victor Puente is live in Frankfurt with the latest on the talks that have been pushed back today. Well, that meeting was supposed to begin at 11 a.m. this morning. It's now been pushed back till around 1. They told us that's because of some private meetings that were taking place. Now, if the budget is going to be voted on by Friday, the budget agreement needs to be reached sometime today. 
That's because it takes about 30 hours to print a bill so it can be taken to the floor of both houses. Yesterday, Governor Matt Bevin said if a budget isn't passed, he had no intention of calling a special session, meaning the state would go into partial government shutdown on July 1st. He also said the blame would land on Speaker of the House Greg Stumbo. Stumbo responded by saying the issue is the budget that was given to them. He said it was the worst he's seen in 35 years with a significant number of errors. If a shutdown does happen, the only services that would be funded would be ones required by the law and the Constitution. That includes schools, prisons, as well as the salaries of many elected officials. Live from the Capitol Annex, Victor Puente, WKYT. And Kentucky's Constitution requires that this legislative session end Friday at midnight, one way or the other. And Governor Bevin is responding to criticism from Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton. The Democratic frontrunner called Bevin's executive decision to immediately cut funding from higher education wrong and possibly illegal. Kentucky Attorney General Andy Bashir is suing the governor over the order. In a statement, the governor said that Clinton's criticism is a way of distracting Kentucky voters from recent remarks that she would put coal companies and coal mines out of business. Clinton has since clarified her statements about the coal industry. Kentucky's Democratic presidential primary is coming up next month. Well, it's starting to warm up nicely here in the bluegrass this midday with temperatures in the 60s by the afternoon with plenty of sunshine. And this trend is expected to continue through the weekend. WKYT meteorologist Micah Harris is live in our first alert weather center now with a look ahead. Yeah, we're already at those temperatures that we were at highs yesterday. Our high yesterday were in the 50s, and we're already seeing that across the region. Even some 60s down southeast. Now, as we go through time, we'll be there in the low to mid 60s, depending on where you are. Really nice rest of the afternoon and cool evening in store. Now, as we track throughout the next several days, this number jumps about 10 to 15 degrees. I mean, big time swing of temperatures. I'll have that in just about 10 minutes. Micah, thank you, and we'll see you then with that. One person had to be flown to the hospital after their home exploded in eastern Kentucky, and that set off a fire. It happened last night in Louisa in Lawrence County. Firefighters are not sure what caused the explosion, but emergency management leaders say natural gas, a leak, could be to blame. The explosion resulted in a fire that destroyed the home. We do not have an update yet on the victim's condition. And repair work continues this noon hour for hundreds of people in a central Kentucky community that is without gas service. Atmos Energy says it is trying to restore service to 1,500 people in Harrodsburg. To fix the issue, crews say they're needing to enter customers' homes and relight and cycle through all natural gas appliances. Now, an unusual thing to have to do that, but they say that this is uh, legitimate. All right, a popular fast food restaurant which has been around before in central Kentucky, is making a return here. Bojangles Chicken says it will open a new location near Kroger in Versailles, and construction of the building is already underway. The restaurant will bring more than 30 full and part-time jobs to the area. Now, there are three other Bojangles restaurants in Kentucky in Corbin, London, and Franklin. The new store should be open this summer. The KFC Yum Center has been named the eighth largest venue in the nation for ticket sales. Polestar Magazine also ranks the Yum Center as the 22nd largest venue in the world. The center has sold more than 100,000 tickets this quarter. That does not include U of L sporting events or the NCAA basketball tournament games that were hosted at that venue. Well, U.S. Speaker of the House Paul Ryan has dashed the hopes of Republicans who saw him as a potential presidential nominee. We'll have the latest from the campaign trail coming up on Kentucky's number one midday news. Also ahead, Prince William and Kate get wild on their week-long tour of India. We'll take you on safari with the Royals next on WKYT. Can you help me figure out what to plant in my front yard to help our curb appeal? Sorry, I just started working here last week, so I'm not sure. Hey, can you help her find some plants? Sorry, kid. I work in the plumbing department. Can you help me figure out what to plant to help our curb appeal? Piece of cake. First, you need a few dwarf boxwoods over there. Supplement those with a crate. Take your curb appeal to the next level. At King's Gardens, we share your passion for plants. All across America, families are coming back to Time Warner Cable for a whole new experience. We came back for internet speed so fast, even the kids are impressed. Oh, she's impressed. 
We're catching up on movies and shows on demand just as fast as we can watch them. TWC's home Wi-Fi is so strong, we can use all our devices at the same time. Come back today. You'll get 30 meg internet, TV, phone, and more for $89.99 a month. And ask how you could get a $300 reward card. Call now. This is Once, the Tony Award-winning musical about following your heart and your dreams. You cannot miss Once. For five performances, April 22nd through 24th at the Lexington Opera House. My belly pain and constipation, I've heard it all. Eat more fiber, flax seeds, yogurt. Get moving, keep moving. I know. Try laxatives. <laughs> Been there, done that. My chronic constipation keeps coming back. I know. Tell me something I don't know. Linzess works differently from laxatives. Linzess treats adults with IBS with constipation or chronic constipation. It can help relieve your belly pain and lets you have more frequent and complete bowel movements that are easier to pass. Do not give Linzess to children under 6, and it should not be given to children 6 to 17. It may harm them. Don't take Linzess if you have a bowel blockage. Get immediate help if you develop unusual or severe stomach pain, especially with bloody or black stools. The most common side effect is diarrhea, sometimes severe. If it's severe, stop taking Linzess and call your doctor right away. Other side effects include gas, stomach area pain, and swelling. Talk to your doctor about managing your symptoms proactively with Linzess. Hey America, I'm getting fired up for Golden Corral's new fired up favorites. It's endless ribs, wings, and tenders in bold new flavors like habanero, sriracha, garlic parmesan, and classic buffalo. Fired up favorites only at Golden Corral. Welcome back to WKYT News at Noon. There's less than a week to go before the next voting contest in the 2016 presidential race. And the New York primary promises a significant boost in delegates for both the Republicans and Democrats. CBS's Kenneth Craig has the latest from the campaign trail. Our Republican system is absolutely rigged. Donald Trump told supporters in New York that his own party is plotting against him. He is accusing GOP leaders of playing with the nomination rules to steal delegates. This but is you call them shenanigans. Those are the rules. And did you know those? You know why the rules? I know the rules very well, but I know that it's stacked against me and by the establishment. Republican National Committee Chairman Reince Priebus tweeted that the nomination process has been known for a year. Complaints now give us all a break. His rival Ted Cruz says Trump himself is the problem. Donald keeps hiring people with records of dirty tricks, of lies, and of threats to violence. For the Democrats, New York is home turf. Former New York Senator Hillary Clinton is courting the African American vote with an appearance here before the Reverend Al Sharpton's National Action Network. The latest Quinnipiac poll shows Clinton with a 13 point lead over Brooklyn native Bernie Sanders, who was endorsed by the Transit Workers Union in his hometown. We've got to stand together, take on the big money interests, and make it clear that our government works for all of us, not just the 1%. Yeah. Sanders and Clinton will hold their next debate in Brooklyn tomorrow night. Kenneth Craig, CBS News, New York. And the latest Republican poll out of New York shows Trump getting 50% of the vote, followed by John Kasich at 27% and Ted Cruz at 17%. Meanwhile, Trump is going to be making another visit to the Commonwealth next month. The National Rifle Association of America announced that Trump will speak at its forum in Louisville on May 20th. The NRA says more than 70,000 people are expected to attend. The other two Republican presidential candidates, Senator Ted Cruz and Ohio Governor John Kasich, have also been invited. President Obama is set to sign a House-approved bill that will give financial incentives to companies that develop treatments for the Zika virus. The development comes as top U.S. health officials warned that it is scarier than first thought and that mosquitoes carrying that virus could come as far north as the southern part of this country this summer. Zika is known to cause birth defects, notably babies with abnormally small heads. The president is asking for nearly $2 billion in funds. He says this bill is a small step forward. 
Two veteran singers have decided not to cancel performances in North Carolina despite a controversial law that's been passed in that state. Now, that law requires people to use bathrooms corresponding to the gender on their birth certificates and not the one they identify with. Jimmy Buffett called the law stupid but doesn't want it to trump fun for his loyal fans. While rocker Greg Allman said the situation is sad and infuriating, but he hopes his show there this week will help unite people. Bruce Springsteen canceled his concert last weekend in Greensboro in protest. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge boarded a jeep into the wilds of India during their royal tour. Prince William and his wife Kate spent several hours trekking across dirt tracks, tall grasslands, and thick forest at a national park that's home to rare one horned rhinos and swamp deer. The safari was meant to draw attention to the plight of endangered animals. And today, the couple is set to visit a discovery center built by Elephant Family, a charity founded by the brother of Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall, who's married to Prince Charles. I'm Michelle Chamberlain. Coming up at 1230, more news proving that the coal industry continues to struggle as the nation's largest coal company has filed for bankruptcy. I'll have more coming up. Get WKYT news and weather updates on 104.5 The Cat. Hitting someone at 35 miles per hour is like throwing them off a four-story building. A little extra speed is a lot more deadly. Slow down, Lexington. If you have arthritic knee pain that's stopping you from enjoying life, this new information about osteo-relief could be for you. Specially trained local doctors are now using advanced medical science to finally make headway for people suffering from knee arthritis pain. It may even be for those who suffer from bone on bone and are considering knee replacement surgery. Are you one of the millions of Americans who have difficulty with simple everyday tasks? Rising from a chair, walking, climbing stairs without using the handrail? If so, the Osteo Relief Method utilizes cutting edge video motion imaging. With this imaging, these doctors can precisely guide an FDA-approved cushioning gel to relieve pain and help heal your knees. This innovative procedure is covered by Medicare and most major insurance if you qualify. And you'll be walking out in as little as 15 minutes. For a limited time, these specially trained doctors are offering a risk-free screening. Call to schedule your knee relief screening today. On Tuesday, I buried my dentures under 23 tons of cement. And I really freaked out because I needed my mouth for a very important event. So I called Aspen Dental, got in right away, and they made my new choppers in just a few days. And thanks to that service, I'm happy to say, I ate the most hot dogs in history today. With dentures starting at just $3.99 and ready in days, not weeks. Dentistry's never been easier. Call 1-800-ASPEN-DENTAL. Sleep is a critical component of our athletic training at UK. Our sleep experts are the champions at matching our customers to the best bed for them. This week at Sleep Outfitters, get a free TV with qualifying purchase. Like this Sealy Pillow Top Queen set with gel foam, now only $4.99, plus a free TV. Go to sleepoutfitters.com for store locations and hours. Sleep Outfitters, a Official sleep provider of UK athletics. Sleep like a champion, play like a champion. Hit me at 35 miles an hour, there's a 45% chance I'll die. Slow down to 25 and I'll probably live. A little extra speed is a lot more deadly. Slow down, Lexington. Have something that needs investigating? Email us or call the WKYT Investigates tip line. Now, your zone by zone forecast with meteorologist Micah Harris. Another good looking day in store. It looks great outside, and the things that's different from today than yesterday is the feel outside. We already hit our temperature, already surpassed that from yesterday. It's a beautiful day. We'll hold on to that. Temperatures uh, continue to rise there in the lower 60s, maybe even some mid 60s when it's all said and done, especially south and southeast. We have some upper level clouds, but that means absolutely nothing. What it does mean for tomorrow means nothing today, but for tomorrow, a little moisture working on in and a little moisture could spell maybe a light shower down south. So we'll see how that turns out. That's where the clouds are. That's where the moisture lies. Temperatures in the 50s, even some 60s at this moment, and we'll finish off low to mid 60s.
later on this afternoon. Now we go throughout the evening. If you're heading out to Keeneland, Keeneland looks great the rest of the afternoon. Kids coming home, no problems. You heading out to do some errands looks great. Off into the evening, no worries whatsoever if you're heading out to eat. And tomorrow morning, we're not really worried about frost tomorrow morning, not widespread frost, that is. And maybe some valley regions over in east and southeast Kentucky, but that's about it. 1 p.m. tomorrow at 63 as those clouds are on the increase. Then that will give us that opportunity for a very slight chance of rain tomorrow. So it's all about the rising temperatures the next several days. That's really the focus of the forecast. The only rain chance we have during this week is going to be tomorrow south of 64. Slight rain chance. We're talking 20. 30% and that's about it. It's a passing shower and that's about it. 70s are back in the forecast, especially after today. Tomorrow, upper 60s to around 70 degrees and then we take the 70s all the way through the week. And let me step out of the way and let you see these temperatures. Look at Monday of next week. That sticks out like a sore thumb. 78 degrees, maybe even seeing an 80 degree reading in the southern half there to kick off your work week next week. So once we finally push by these temperatures today, which aren't all that bad, I mean, it's still average. And it's a nicer field than yesterday, but once we push by it, I believe everybody will enjoy these temperatures heading toward Thursday and off into your weekend. Big ball game going on, blue-white spring game. That's at noontime out at Commonwealth. A lot of kids out there running around some of those kid play areas and uh, just running around the stadium. Remember, it's free to get in. So hopefully we can pack that stadium out because it's beautiful weather for that. Keeneland's going on, which will be slammed this weekend. And really all week long. Remember, it kicks back off right mm -hmm. now. Well, it's at 1 p.m. Uh, as gates open, and then that takes you off into the weekend. Yeah, so great and weather. There's some 5Ks here and there, so it's going to be uh, lots of fun this That's weekend right. with that good weather. Mm -hmm. Micah, thank you so much. We'll be back on WKYT with sports of football Wildcats getting real close to Saturday, as Micah was saying, when they'll wrap up spring workouts with that big blue white game. And the baseball cats step out of SEC play tonight to take on the Louisville Cardinals. Did Gabriel next for sports? And checking stocks as we head into the afternoon, the major market indicators once again today. Way up at midday. CBS Tonight, a brutal blindside, brings bad blood. We're going to take the machete and axe. And bad behavior. Julia swoops over there with the guys pretty, pretty quickly. She's playing both sides. Sometimes the guy in the middle of the road gets run over. New Survivor, CBS Tonight, or stream it live or on demand. If anyone can clean up Oscar Madison, it's Felix Unger. Take your feet off of the coffee table and for God's sake, use coasters. A new odd couple, CBS Thursday after Big Bang. EKU Center for the Arts presents opera star Kathleen Battle performing Underground Railroad, A Spiritual Journey, April 16th. Featuring renowned pianist Joel Martin and the American Spiritual Ensemble. For tickets, visit EKUCenter.com. Buying a new energy-efficient refrigerator or freezer? Well, get paid to upgrade. Let our Energy Star Appliance Rebate Program help you earn cash back on a range of Energy Star certified appliances. Just visit our website to see how to get paid to upgrade. A message from your Kentucky Touchstone Energy Cooperatives. Everyone is singing praises about essential oils and trying to make their home free of toxic chemicals. Get the facts yourself and learn how Young Living Essential Oils can help support your family's health and well-being. Visit JustOneDrop.com for more information and local classes. By the numbers, Whitaker Bank loves the Kentucky communities we serve. With Whitaker Bank's new home equity loan, I only had to pay 1% of my balance back monthly. Whitaker Bank lets qualified applicants borrow up to 90% of your home's value to use now or down the road. I had zero closing costs with the help of Whitaker Bank and the power of the equity in my home. We share your passion, Kentucky. Love the bank that loves you back. Whitaker Bank is uniquely Kentucky. These creamery shakes are so rich and creamy. I know. Finally, a shake for an aficionado like myself. Wait, you're a shake aficionado? Not a oh, shake aficionado. The shake aficionado. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Well, perhaps you could be one too. Go oh. ahead. Mm. It's a coolness. Cold. It's cold. Okay. Ice cream is cold. <laughs> Stop the presses, guys. Ice cream is cold. Says Pete. Print it. New slow turned creamery shakes are here in premium flavors like bourbon brown sugar. And all shakes are half price after 8 p.m. This is how you Sonic. Man, your game's really off. Man, my car got sideswiped and my shoulder's killing me. What have you done about it? Well, I made a doctor's appointment. My car's in the shop. I mean about your legal rights. Well, I just assumed that... But don't assume. 
You need to call Legal Options and speak to one of their experts. Legal Options? And you need to do it right now. Remember, you've got options. Call Legal Options at 1-800-777-7774 now. Come on, honey, let's go. I don't mean right now. I'm balling at 250. Get WKYT news and weather updates on Rewind 105.5. The baseball Wildcats are off to one of the best starts in school history. They've won each of their first four Southeastern Conference series, but tonight they step out of league play for a non-conference game, not just any non-conference game. The sixth-ranked Louisville Cardinals coming to town, so bragging rights, maybe some recruiting juice on the line, but still their coach says the Cats cannot get too high or too low about this one. Well, it's an important game. You know, you, you, you can't shy away from that. It's an important game. Um, you know, and I'll tell you the same thing I've been telling you for eight, eight nine years. You know, we're, we're playing Friday. You know, and so you don't get too high, you don't get too low, and, and yeah, you, you want to win it. It's a rivalry game, but, uh, you know, you got to get on to the next one, win or lose. It's going to be a great crowd tonight, but if you cannot make it out to the ballpark, you can catch it live on SEC Plus. Yours truly and former UK head coach Keith Madison with a call. First pitch set for 630. The football Wildcats have one more day of practice before they square off with each other in the spring game. And if you're going to check that out, don't expect too much. The coaches haven't yet decided on a format, but they do know they aren't going to do anything fancy and they won't show too much. They will, however, study every frame of every play. Now, one of the question marks on defense is linebacker, where the returning tackler is Jordan Jones. He had 10 last season. Doesn't seem like much, but he does feel like a veteran. I like to help a lot of the younger guys out, too. Um, Eli, me, Eli, I love Eli, man. Uh, every day we just try to get better. We don't really worry about worry too much about who's starting and who's not starting we just um, try to help we rub off on each other and try to get each other better every day it's a noon kickoff at commonwealth stadium if you can't make it out you can listen on the uk radio network or watch it on the sec network also tonight on campus the uk softball team ranked 15th in the country taking on eastern kentucky the cats coming off an historic three-game sweep of their series down in Baton Rouge against eighth-ranked LSU. First time Kentucky's ever swept at LSU. Kentucky's 34 and 8 on the season so far. Game time for that one set for 6 p.m. And of course, Keeneland first post at 105. Gates open at 11. Should be a glorious day. Hope you pick a winner. That's a look at sports on your Wednesday, guys. All right, Dick. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. And we hope you'll stay here on WKYT News. A lot more is coming up in our next half hour. A 400-year-old picture that might have been painted by an Italian master has been found in an attic in southern France. I'm Phil Pendleton in Lincoln County at 12:30. A drug suspect speaks out from jail after he says that he accidentally called 911 when he and someone else were talking about drugs. Tonight's Powerball jackpot is $184 million, and Friday night's Mega Millions jackpot is $80 million. 